Hey geeks, welcome back to another edition of Geek Culture Unboxed. I'm Lou. John. And we have in studio today Tweeter Heads 1 6 scale Poison Ivy. And I gotta tell you, we are a buzz in the studio. This is a phenomenal piece to borrow one of Diego's famous words. Um, very much so, very much so. So much about it. I mean, the color, the sculpt is amazing. Packaging, she's light as a feather, man. You wouldn't even you wouldn't even think she weighs, you know, less about five pounds. Probably. Um, yeah. Her measurements are an eight inch in diameter base, 14 inches tall, and about 10 inches wide. From stem to stem. To From stem to stem. Beautiful piece, uh, very sultry, seductive. Very much so. A lot of, uh, which adds to her character. That's what's good about it. A uh, lot, a lot of texture on these. They did a really good job. Whoever the, the sculptor, the, the master sculptor did it, lots of texture, which is good because it's a, she's a plant-based person or character. So even in the base, tons of it, every part of this stock has like ribbing, uh, the stems of the petals, everything. Her outfit, all of it, texture, I mean, her hair, the, Diego was saying the, in her hand, the palm of her hand, uh, her nails, the, the curvature, her leg, leg muscle, thigh muscles, ankle, everything. Whoever did this, I got to meet this person because they did a hell of a job. And currently the shot that you're looking at, the side angle towards more towards the right, that's the shot. She's got two great shots. This shot, and then let me turn it around, and it's right through the hole right there, right where you see the curvature of her derriere, down that leg. This that is just there. a beautiful shot. This is a very well-planned statue. Uh, it trumps anything we've seen Poison Ivy out there. Very Prime much. One, Sideshow, this trumps it. My only flaw that I, that I dislike about it, it's one six instead of quarter scale. That's which, what I dislike about which it. Which I don't think is a flaw. Yeah. I, I think it's a good size for a desk, small areas, perfect. Again, only thing, if you have pets or small children that want to mess with things, this is not the statue for you <laughs> because she has very delicate fingers and, and digits and the parts of the plant, and they can mess with it. But if you had it, I think it's a good size. But if you're like something larger, then this ain't for you. Uh, not too many pieces. That's another good thing. Uh, once they're in, the, the magnets are very strong. I'll yep. give them that. Uh, this is like a, this is exclusive, so it has a stand standalone piece. If not, it would just be that. But it's just enough. It's enough of an attention getter and a conversation piece, I think. Very much so. For sure. And, it, and you know, John mentioned this is exclusive. I was hesitant to buy it, but because of the plant, I pulled the trigger. I'm not a big Poison Ivy fan. I thought it looked good. Now that I have it in person, wow, it's amazing. Yeah. It is number seven of 250. Wow, that's pretty cool. So you geeks may have the chance to purchase this from me. Like I said, I'm not a big uh, a Poison Ivy fan, so I may bring it to a show. I may get rid of it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Diego feels that this is going to go beautifully with the one-third scale Prime One Batman that we have coming in that we'll review in the future. So we'll see how that 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 uh, diorama sets up. If I like it, I'll keep her. If I don't, eh, I may sell her. <laughs> just, just the look alone, like if you see it like that, that almost looks like a a comic cover. Just mm -hmm. for if they were featuring her in that story or whatever. Art term, are you listening? <laughs> I mean, it. Uh, like I said, I've seen many many statues with these guys. For me, this size is good, but it's just everything about it. The base, it, it's not overwhelming. It's just enough. It works well with the, the style, the leap. Everything about it works so good. They did a really good job. I'm really, really impressed with it. And the, uh, what I looked before we started recording is I believe the exclusive is still available through their distributor, Sideshow.com. Mm. So if you want it, if you like this review, go get it. And only 250 pieces made, so go get it before she's gone. The the only thing, and this is just a personal, and it and it, people may not think it. If these had little spikes, like the little white spikes, yeah. But that's, believe me, you're not missing nothing. And even if this mouth was open more, like that, it's not a big deal. Everything about it, though, it's well worth it. Is what I'm trying to say. It's not like I said, just it's a perfect size. I think if you're into like this size. If you're in a bigger, obviously you're not gonna like that. But every the colors, everything, everything about it is good. I didn't really even see any 
paint flaws, to be no, honest with you. No, honestly. She she was pre-ordered, I want to say, two years ago. Man, COVID has really messed up a lot of things. A lot of things are still out on ship. That's why we don't have Batman. Um, but when she came out, she was uh, 300 350 something like that for the exclusive. I will let you know, Tweeter had just released some new statues and the prices. We're up in the 500 550 Damn. so... Go get her for three fifty, whatever she is right now on sideshow.com. And, and, and it's a low production run. Yep. That's another thing that's really good for the, for that price mm -hmm. range. Usually, they're it's much more expensive when it's a smaller run. Mm -hmm. This might benefit y'all in that regard. I mean, it. I don't like. I said it, they did a really good job. I'm really really impressed. They did a really good job. It is. I I will concur. She, uh, Look at that, even the draping of that. I mean, it's like... The draping of the leaves over the, the ivies, the plants, the poison ivies. Man, that's, it's just beautiful. It looks like a towel. Yeah, see? It doesn't look out of place. It doesn't... I mean, I, know, I don't know how well you can see it on the video, but because of the lighting, it catches shadows perfectly. I mean, perfectly. The plants, her body, the tea, everything catches a shadow from any direction you look at. And it gives it a dynamic look. This, the same thing. Everywhere you look, there's a shadow that catches it just right. Like it was designed to catch light in that way. You know, I, I would love to see somebody animate this piece. The way that the root comes up, it would be cool to see somebody animate the root come out of the concrete floor and form the chair and then just have her walk up and like sit in it and give us this pose. That would be, that's, that would be really remarkable. That's pretty uh, aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a visionary. What can I say? You know what we need? I don't know if they'll ever do it. Maybe they will. Uh, a Bane to go with it. They will. Tweeterhead, Tweeterhead is doing some amazing stuff. Their Master of the Universe statues are amazing. You know, here we have a DC. I don't know. I can't remember if they've done any other DC, but like John said, it'd be great to get a Bane from them. In scale. Um, like, in I mean... scale. Uh, I would like that. That's what I want with their Master of the Universe line is create something that forms a diorama. Yeah. Right? It doesn't have to connect. It just has to all work well together. Yeah, very much so. I mean, this gives me hope to see what the future lines would be. Because if this is how the other ones are going to be, then, like I said, they've got not only good sculptors, but they're painting. They're, whoever the painters are doing it, they're killing it pretty much. Yep. They are killing it. And I, guess, I didn't see a single flaw on paint. And we usually scrutinize these pretty hard. Yep. That's the thing. As we're putting together, I told him, look deeply. I want you guys to see if you see anything. Man, almost practically flawless. We'll give you, you know, great, almost like a nine. High nine. The the only thing that Diego was and me were kind of both saying was the color of this versus that. Now, again, this is the exclusive part. But Diego had a very good point. This is more probably like a younger plant. So it needed to look a little bit more brighter versus the ones that are a little bit older. So I will concur that is true. It 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 doesn't take away from it at all, believe me. It if anything, it ties into her hair color and everything, so it pulls it all together, so it works that way. I mean, it, it just, like I said, whoever did this, i like to meet them. They did a really good job. Sculptor and design. But Yeah, both. And then the other thing that we got a compliment on that we haven't even said is, I don't know if Diego got a shot, but the, the teeth inside the plant. Yeah. And that's hard to pull off. That is hard to pull off, and they did it on all e of them. Yeah, even up here, and this this one, it's barely mm -hmm. open just enough. This one's closed, like clenched. It, I mean, it's like, I think they knew what they were doing. Because if this mouth up here had been like more open, mm -hmm. I don't think it would have been as, I mean, it would have been cool, Dramatic. but it, yeah, like this way, it's like you're kind of like, like you want to lean in to look, and that's what you want. But it also captures her, like, yeah, like she's, her yeah, pain, teasing it or whatever, mm -hmm. or yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I said, they did a really good job. And who, like I said, look, they paid attention to the back end right here. That's impressive. This is not something you're going to see a lot. Look at how it's set up. That's a really good job. Look at that. Because it's nine times out of ten, it's going to be like this, not like that. But yet you still have everything set up where they didn't uh, half step it. They, they did it right. They just, they really did it right. Man, I, I don't know. I, I'd highly say get one of these. That's all I got to tell you. Do you remember the Hordak piece by Tweeterhead that we reviewed? I yes, I do remember it. Does this, in total completion, does this rise above the Hordak? Same level? This one's above only because there's more color and more variation. 
Okay. That's the only, the only, that's where I would see it go. And to me, that shows that they were paying attention to what they were working with. Because they could have just slapped just green with no gradation, no darkening, nothing. And it could have just been like a flat looking leaf. They actually cared. That's what I'm saying. So the color, the color actually, <laughs> technical difficulties, the color actually really plays an important, important part of this. And they did it. They did it right. I really think they did it right. Like somebody was either paying attention or they did their homework as to botany or to see how things were set up. And that, like I said, every bit of it catches shadows just right where you need them to catch it. It, it almost even looks like some of these are transparent, even though they're not transparent. You know, they're solid. So they, they like I said, this, this above Horak on that scale level, because they, there's more colors to work with here. And I think they, they took it, total advantage of it and did the right thing with it. Very well. Even her hair. Look at that. <laughs> As you can tell, John is thoroughly impressed. As is Diego, very silent on the camera, but Diego is very impressed by this. Uh, Diego brought his wife in. She looked at it. She even gave it her thumbs of approval. Ladies, you know how rare that is amongst collectors, so we appreciate that feedback. John, any closing comments? I'm telling y'all, low run, the price right is still set pretty good. I'd get it if, if you can afford to get it and just get, go for it. This is a very... Don't very, miss this piece. Yeah, don't let it go. That's all I got to tell you. Don't let it go. If you can blow money on coffee and stuff like that, you can save up and get something like that. Sightrow has payment plans. So you guys can go on there, set up payment plans for a couple months. Very affordable right now. Again, like I said, Tweeterhead's prices has gone up. So John's saying get in while you can at 300 yeah. 350 because they're going up 550 for you know a quarter scale now. That's you know it's a little pricey. Yeah, a lot of a lot of times you see people like, oh, I should have, would have. Okay, you're being told right now. Do do it now. Don't wait because then you're gonna be kicking yourself that you did wait, mm -hmm. or you'll be like, oh, it's tw twice the amount now, or three times the amount, or whatever the case, and it's worth it. I, if we waited this long for it, and we're telling you this. Trust me, you'll really like it in your collection, or even if you're starting a collection, it's a good one to start on. Oh yeah, you're gonna love having this on your desk or on your shelf. But be sure to stick around, we've got the Prime One Balrog coming up in our next video. Thanks for joining, thanks for being part of the culture. We'll see you geeks next time.